Hey everyone, it's Lisa and Josie. Elam is currently taking a nap. Um, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick update because we took Josie and Elam on Friday to a new doctor. So I've got um, kind of an update on their weight, how they're doing, all that fun stuff. So I thought I would do just kind of a general update on them all together. So Josie is going to be 10 weeks on Wednesday. So she went in um, at nine weeks for her two month checkup. Um, she weighed 11 pounds, 11 ounces, and she is 23 and a half inches long. So she is in the 75 percentile for um, weight and for height, she is in the 100 percentile. So she is a tall girl. Elam weighed 28 pounds, 9 ounces, no, 15 ounces, so basically 29 pounds. And he was 38 inches tall, I believe. I have it written down. Um, and so he is in the 97 percentile for both his height and his weight. And his head, and I think it's funny, his head circumference is off the charts. <laughs> like, you know how it curves? Well, he's like a quarter inch above the curve. Um, so he's got a big head. Um, they both got shots. They were going to give Elam his chicken pox shots, but that's one that we are not giving him. I just want him to get them um, naturally like I did. So when Timmy gets chicken pox, I play with Timmy. Um, so other than that, and then Josie got her first set of shots as well. Wait, you want to come say hi? Um, other than that, they are both doing really well. Um, we are going to actually take Elam off of milk because we think that he's has a milk allergy. Um, he has been actually taking my breast milk um out of a bottle i'm not latching him on or anything like that but we um we started to do cow's milk you know like they recommend and um he has not had he was having extremely loose stool and it wasn't like diarrhea well it was diarrhea but it he never complained and said that his tummy hurt so I never thought anything of it. I thought, you know, some kids just have loose stool. Well, I talked to the doctor and the doctor wants me to, wanted me to cut back on dairy just for a couple days and see how his stool reacted to it. And, um, we did, we cut up, cut out all yogurt, all cheese, all milk. And, um, his stool became extremely, you know, um, normal what it should be. Not hard, not diarrhea. Um, so we're going to switch him over to almond milk. Um, what else is going on with him? He's doing really well. He's sleeping in a toddler bed. Um, he's talking a lot. Um, he is in love right now with the water. It is, we're having like a heat wave, so it's been like 82. So I went and bought him one of those little pools and put it on our patio and he is... A water baby um, he will go down for a nap and wake up and want to go outside and play in the water um, he is a total total water baby today we went to the lake with a couple other moms and the lake is freezing cold and I you know I put him in swim trunks just because he was gonna be playing on the sand and stuff and I didn't expect him to go near the water but he completely like dove in the water and did not mind that it was freezing cold so we're going to get him in swim lessons ASAP because he is not afraid of water at all and that scares the eebie-jeebies out of me so sleeping in a toddler bed his favorite toys still are books um he's starting to get more into cars and it's just a bobblehead you're just a bobblehead um <laughs> But he's just being a boy and still eating everything under the sun. Um, he's really into Boca burgers right now and like veggie burgers. So instead of getting him chicken nuggets, I'm going to try and look at our local health food store and see if they have like a veggie chicken nugget type thing. Or I might just buy some veggie patties and um, cut those up and give them to him like chicken nuggets. Because um, he really likes finger foods. Um, so this little girl, she's growing like a weed. Um, she is now in three to six month clothes and feety pajamas she has to wear six month clothes because she is so long that I can't button up three month pajamas. They don't button up for her. 
Um, as you can see, she's doing really well with head control. <laughs> she's still bobbly, but she loves to sit up and look around. Um, she loves tummy time. She actually has fallen asleep several times while doing tummy time. She just enjoys being on her tummy. Huh, just enjoys being on the tummy. Yes, you do. Um, she's a smiley baby. Um, if you smile at her, she will smile right back at you. And she's a very aware baby. She does not sleep. Like, Elam is a phenomenal sleeper. She's not a sleeper. She takes tons of cat naps. Um, like five minutes here and there, ten minutes here and there, but not really long naps. Um, at night, she is sleeping... Oh, yeah. Good. At night, she is sleeping um, four to six hours, so she's really doing really good at sleeping. Um, Thresh is gone, and Colic seems to be gone. We are still giving her Zantac three times a day, and that really helps her. She's just a much happier, happier girl. When she um, gets her Zantac on a regular basis, she is latching on um, and still taking a bottle and still taking a binky, so no nipple confusion. <laughs> Bobblehead! Elam still is absolutely in love with his sister. He tries to play with her if she's crying and I'm like in the kitchen getting lunch or something. He'll go over and put her binky back in her mouth. It's just the most adorable thing ever. Um, so that's the, an update on them. I'm going to do a separate vlog about me being um, six weeks postpartum, letting you guys know what I did for birth control and all that stuff. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.